known as Paradise on Earth, China's silk and tea capital. And as Marco Polo put it, the most splendid and luxurious city in the world. This is Hangzhou. Hi, I'm Noah, and I make videos exploring China and completing random travel challenges. And now it's time for me to spin the wheel to find the fate of my Hangzhou challenge. Eco-friendly exploration focused on utilizing sustainable travel practices, showcasing how you minimize your environmental impact and engage in responsible tourism. And as fate would have it, Hangzhou is a super eco-friendly city. Did you know that Hangzhou is China's most bike-friendly city? Not only that, but it's one of the biggest bike-sharing cities in the world, with 280,000 bike renters per day. With that being said, as a way to complete my travel sustainability challenge, for the rest of the trip, I'm only gonna be using eco-friendly transportation and traveling mostly by bike. And so it's on two wheels that we are off to discover the gems of Hangzhou, starting with the crown jewel, Westlake. Yeah, 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 every other big city in Asia has a West Lake or an East Lake, but this West Lake is the real deal. During the decline of the Song Dynasty, as its central hub, Kaifeng, fell under siege, the emperor and his officials made the decision to relocate their capital to Hangzhou in 1127. And while some officials may have yearned for a return to their old northern capital, there's something about Westlake an alluring charm that's hard to resist. It beckons you to sit by its shores, sip some tea, craft a painting, pen poetic verses, cruise on a boat ride, and even engage in a forbidden love affair or two. And then someone mentions our old home, that northern capital. What was it called again? Ah, no matter. Here things are good, but Westlake ain't just easy on the eyes. Throughout history, it has helped to redefine the concept of sightseeing and tourism, inspiring nations across Asia and beyond to replicate its natural beauty. Today, Westlake stands as an enduring symbol of Chineseness. Not that kind. Not that one either. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yet another rich emblem of this country located in Hangzhou is the China National Silk Museum. There's a reason the Silk Road earned its name. Silk, often referred to as soft gold, was not just one of the most prized commodities along this legendary trading route. It was the jewel of trade. In ancient China, the birthplace of silk, these luxurious fabrics were a pure status symbol. Lower classes were even forbidden from wearing them. Silk was even used as a form of currency during certain dynasties. And right here, Hangzhou is known as the House of Silk. For thousands of years, silk production and trade has thrived in this region. And the China National Silk Museum is the perfect destination to study the history and culture of the silk making process. To experience the vibrant silk scene in Hangzhou today, head on over to Hangzhou's Silk Town, where you can peruse some local shops and go bargaining for some real high quality threads. Hangzhou's gift to the world via the Silk Road is truly unparalleled. So the question arises, what could this city possibly receive in return that even comes close to matching the value of silk? Well, one answer lies in the realm of Buddhism. Lingyin Temple, literally translated as the Temple of the Souls Retreats, is not only the oldest temple in Hangzhou, but it's one of the oldest and most significant Buddhist temples in all of China. It was founded in the year 326 by a traveling monk from India. When he came across this area embedded between the Feilai and Beigao Mountains, he felt that he had seen this place before and that it matched the appearance of a special land where fairies roamed. Today, the grounds of Lingyan Temple are massive, containing 72 halls. I'm now standing in front of the door of the Hall of Heavenly Kings with an inscription that reads, let us sit and wait upon the threshold, where we shall see another peak flying from afar. Let us welcome spring with a smile, 
as the snow melts and the brook starts to flow once more. While Lingyan Temple is a true architectural masterpiece, the reason it draws visitors from all over China is that the spirit of the soul's retreat stands the test of time. Lingyan Temple has gained witness by countless great figures throughout Chinese history. So, no doubt, has the fabled Qinghefang Street. Centuries ago, when Marco Polo visited Hangzhou, he called this place the most luxurious city in the world. And this is what he was talking about. Back in the day, Qinghefang Street was the beating heart of luxury and commerce in Hangzhou. Today, it's the best preserved historical street in the city and a crossroads of an ancient culture. It's hard to fathom the sheer number of legends who left their footprints along this road. The legend of Zhang Kui. In the afterlife, he was promoted to King of the Ghosts and assigned with the mission of finding and vanquishing evil spirits. The legend of Bai Nianzi, a badass ninja maiden who showed them robbers what's what and became the ultimate guardian of Hangzhou. The legend of the white snake. Long ago, the spirit of a white snake transformed herself into a young fair lady and in the human world became besmitten with a young lad. Just imagine the stories this cobbled pavement could tell. We've now fully investigated Hangzhou by bike and helped protect the environment in the process. But there's one more stop on this Hangzhou tour. We're delving into eco-friendly accommodations here at Rockinwood Cozy House. What makes this place extra special is its commitment to saving the earth, proudly listed as a travel sustainable accommodation on booking.com. And here at Rockinwood, it's all about the simple rustic vibes. Upon check-in, you're provided with your very own pair of comfy slippers. Their breakfast here is locally sourced. And if that's not enough, the rooms come with a balcony allowing you to immerse yourself even deeper in the fresh, crisp air of Hangzhou. And with that, I'll have to say, challenge complete. Why do we travel? Is it about the journey or the destination? Some may say traveling is about the strenuous journey to the top of the mountain. Planes, trains, automobiles, and then the arduous hike to capture that perfect sunrise Instagram photo. Yet in that moment, as you struggle to stay awake, you realize it's not about the photo. It's about the adventure to get there. It's challenges and how they shape you as a person. I'm here to tell you that you've got it all wrong. Let me introduce you to your travel stress cure, Hangzhou. When you arrive in this city they call paradise on earth, you may keep waiting for that moment of challenge, frustration, exhaustion to creep over you. But it ain't gonna come because the perfect scene in Hangzhou ain't at the top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere. It's everywhere along its white walled streets, amongst its lush gardens and lakes, and within its tranquil temples. Hangzhou is a journey of never ending destinations. And just like those officials who made Hangzhou their home during the Song Dynasty, I could stay here forever. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.